This is Farm Journal's Margie Fisher. Joining me are the 2009 Corn College Agronomic Coaches. Ken Ferry, you designed the diagnostic plot. Tell me what you included. We tried to include a little bit of everything that we run into in stand problems out here, so we did the uh, uh, start them out with just trying to find a stand count and evaluate population and ear count. We did down pressure, uh, different down pressures on each row that they checked, residue management out here, uh, and we did uh, uh, seed spacing uh, and seed depth. So they got a chance to try to evaluate what we did. Their job was to guess what happened in each of the four rows that they were actually looking into. Thank you, Ken. Roger Forsberg, tell me uh, what were some common problems and questions the guys had during the stand count section? Well, the biggest problem was we were trying to differentiate between uh, the number of plants and the number of ears that we thought we were going to be able to harvest. So just to make that determination while we were still harvesting seemed to be where the most questions come from. And Brett Forsberg, tell me what were some of the common questions during the down pressure section? Now, due to our very wet conditions this spring, we had a lot of trouble with uh, even our uh, 10 down pressure settings. Uh, we're still seeing a lot of uh, compaction even from that. So it was kind of a struggle trying to pick out between uh, maybe the worst and, and what was the best. Um, so we had a lot, of, a lot of time was actually consumed right there. <laughs> and Bill Bauer, what were some of the common problems the guys had identifying the different residue management tools? In the residue management section, uh, one of the common questions was how to identify pinched residue. So we determined that and showed them how to do that. And I was really impressed with how uh, the teams worked together as a group, and it was fun. And Mark Bear, what kind of questions did the farmers pose to you when they were working on the seed depth? Probably the biggest uh, concern or question they had was uh, how to identify where the seed was, and once they once we showed them where that was, and they could identify it and move forward. And Isaac, what were, Isaac Ferry, tell me some of the questions the farmers had for you when they were trying to figure out what the seed spacing was set at. Probably the, the biggest question on the seed spacing was trying to identify the difference between a double and a misplaced seed. Um, and with the misplaced seed, it's going to look like a double, but somewhere further down the line that you should see a skip where that seed should have been, but because it ricocheted in the seed tube, um, it, it ends up looking a lot like a double. But once, once we started to go through that, they could pick out the rows pretty readily. Thanks, Isaac.